Ma'am, the air in the morning is so refreshing and pure. Dear, it is because the proportion of oxygen becomes greater in comparison to carbon dioxide in the lower atmosphere. The morning air has lesser amount of vehicle exhaust, dust and smoke. All of these make the air in the morning fresh. Ma'am, what is breathing? Breathing is the process of taking in oxygen, which is known as inhalation and giving out carbon dioxide which is known as exhalation and ma'am which system is responsible for breathing the human respiratory system is responsible for the mechanism of breathing it is actually a network of organ tissue which help us to breathe ma'am please explain me the respiratory system in detail The respiratory system consists of a group of organ and tissues that help us to breathe. Apart from lungs, they also contain muscles and vast network of blood vessels that facilitate the process of respiration. The various organs involved in the process of respiration is nasal cavity, larynx, pharynx, trachea, bronchi, and a pair of lungs. Now let's start with the first organ that is the nasal cavity or the nose. Human have exterior nostril which is divided by the framework of cartilaginous structure called the septum. The structure that separates the right nostril and left nostril is the septum. Tiny hair follicles that cover the interior part of the nostril act as a body first line of defense against foreign pathogens. they provide additional humidity for inhaled air so then the next part is the larynx two cartilaginous cord lay the framework of the larynx it is found in front of the neck and is responsible for vocal as well as aiding respiration hence it is also informally called voice box When food is swallowed the flap called the epiglottis folds over the top of the windpipe and prevent the food to enter the larynx then after larynx you can see the pharynx the pharynx then in the pharynx the nasal chamber opens up into a wide hollow space called the pharynx it is common passage for air as well as food Its function is to prevent the entry of food particles into the windpipe. The epiglottis is an elastic cartilage which serves as a switch between larynx and the esophagus by allowing the passage of air into the lungs. After larynx you can see the trachea. Now what is the trachea? Let us understand that. The trachea or the windpipe rises between the larynx and move down the neck the wall of the trachea is c shaped cartilaginous ring which give hardness to the trachea and maintain it by completely expanding the trachea extend further down the breast bone and splits into bronchi one for each lung Now as you can see in the diagram after trachea you can see the now what is the bronchi the trachea splits into two two tubes called bronchi which enters each lung individually the bronchi divide into secondary and tertiary bronchioles and it further branches out into small air sac called the alveoli the alveoli are single cell sac of air with thin wall They facilitate the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules into and away from the blood stream. Now after bronchi you can see the lungs. The lungs are the primary organ of respiration in human and other vertebrates. They are located on either side of the heart in the thoracic cavity of the chest. 
Anatomically, the lungs are spongy organ with the estimate total surface area of 50 to 20, 20 50 to 75 square meter. The primary function of the lung is to facilitate the exchange of gas between the blood and the air. Interestingly, the right lung is quite bigger and heavier than the left lung. So this is all about the various organs involved in the mechanism of respiration and these organs completely form the respiratory system. I hope you have understood the respiratory system. Yes ma'am, I've understood it very nicely. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Bye-bye.